I know, I just arrived. Look, uh... <laughs> I was over there, I was waiting for the light to come on in the camera so I could start. It's how we do it in television. Oh, I hate that bastard sometimes. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. I usually have a piece of candy before I come out. Oh, Craig, you know how to live. Yes, I do. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. Look, so I, now I can't show you the type of candy it is, but it's, uh, it comes in a brown wrapper, and my guess is from the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Do that Jaws uh, crash zoom thing there? <laughs> oh man! Whoa! I didn't know we could do that. We can do that and we can say dry hump. <laughs> I have been clearly. I have been clearly. I've clearly been underusing my resources here. <laughs> Anyway, look, somebody sat in my candy and squished it and made it flat. And then I said, oh, somebody sat in my candy. And Jeff said, is that code? <laughs> <laughs> You're very giggly tonight, aren't you? What's going on? You know me too well. It's almost like you've been drinking at some kind of Labor Day barbecue today. No, no I'm fine. <laughs> He's drunk. Drunk on cheap beer. <laughs> I find that very attractive. <laughs> and if he wanted to, he could sit on my candy. <laughs> we'll be right back. by Straight Talk. Cut your cell phone bill in half and feel richer. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Hey, everybody! Good on! Lady! Very nice call. Let your applause die away quite naturally. Oh. What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> the warm up guy just goes, cool, and everybody goes, oh my God. <laughs> I, I thought you meant I was like, yeah, now pull my hair a little bit. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Of course, happy Labor Day, happy Labor Day, Jeffrey Peterson. Thanks, pal. Okay, uh, you say happy Labor Day back. Happy Labor Day back. <laughs> anyway, Labor Day is when we celebrate the American workforce by watching an immigrant dance for quarters. <laughs> By nickel in my basket, I think you know what I mean. Ooh, keep dancing, keep dancing. <laughs> this is one of my favorite holidays, though, right up there with Thanksgiving, 4th of July, and Wilford Brimley's birthday. <laughs> That's a national holiday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, some good things about working on Labor Day. There was no other cars on the road this morning. It was very quiet driving through Hollywood. I only saw one prostitute. <laughs> I did. And that was me in the rearview mirror. One lonely prostitute.
I've been forced to work, so I couldn't go to the Labor Day barbecue. So I, I did a little impromptu thing on the CBS roof. A crowd gathered when they smelled the charred meat. But that's what happens when I sunbathe nude. <laughs> I only use my white Speedos as an eye mask. <laughs> After today, of course, no more white Speedos. Labor Day means changing your wardrobe. Time to pay, put a, to pay, to pay. <laughs> no, you gotta put away the, the white belts and the uh, shoes and... I hope someone reminds Gaddafi it'd be bad for him to wave the white flag tomorrow. They'd be like... <laughs> everyone would be like, too late! <laughs> After Labor Day! Labor Day means any day now the stores will start playing the Christmas music. Really? And it's about time now, isn't it? Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Shut the fa up. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I said fa. <laughs> what, the, what the fa is his problem? No, see, he, you, you went too far. I went too far. You went too far. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the president was in uh, Detroit today. He gave a speech about employment. He wants to make sure that everybody knows he's really concerned about jobs, especially his own, I would think. Uh... <laughs> Do you know, Labor Day actually started back in the 1880s by President Grover Cleveland. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Grover Cleveland was a Democrat. He was booted out of office after one term, but then he was re-elected four years later. My point? There's hope, President Obama. You're a young man. <laughs> Greg, whose side are you on? Oh, everyone's. <laughs> Anyway, this is, uh, this is our day to salute the millions of Americans who get up and punch the clock five days a week, then go to work. It's not easy. <laughs> I do that, kind of. I always do that. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> That's Halloween, not Labor Day. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <clears throat> It's not easy times for the American worker. The wages are stagnant, job growth is near zero, and worst of all, we're going into an election cycle. So you know, you know, for the next year, it's going to be chock-a-block with politicians pretending they give a rat's ass about anybody having a job or not. Oh, Craig, are you implying that politicians are sleazy, lying bastards? Yes! <laughs> well, wait. Surely, Craig. Surely. Wait a minute. Now, you mean the politicians on the other side, don't you? Sure, whatever you have to tell yourself. <laughs> no, the ones on my side don't lie. Sure, the ones on your side don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> Nobody's. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said far. <laughs> Didn't I say far? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, over the last decade, millions of jobs have been eliminated by technology, and I'm lucky, you see, I'll always be safe here next to my cheap robot co-host who never needs health care. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I didn't like it at first, but it's grown on me. Is that code? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, these days, of course, young people entering the workforce don't even expect a lifetime of job security. They've grown up well aware of the harsh reality of working in the 21st century. Any minute now, you could be replaced by Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> he wouldn't do this. Uh, but being willing to switch jobs can be a good thing because it allows them to, you know, young people to sell their talents to the highest bidder. I, of course, would never do something like that. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> For legal reasons. <laughs> right now, though, outsourcing is the number one fear of American workers. You know, when the man takes your job and gives it away to a foreigner who's willing to work for a fraction of the cost. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm an American! <laughs> anyway, you couldn't do that with talk shows. You couldn't outsource them to India, could you? It's a great day for whatever region you are in. <laughs> Oh, chicken monkeys! I like when you talk like that. Oh, I didn't know you 
would talk like that too. Yes, Greg. Who do we have on the show today? Well, let me tell you, we have some of the many stars of Bollywood who I could name if I knew who they were. Oh, you are such a joker. <laughs> <laughs> I said far! <laughs> anyway, it's not all bad news for the American worker. Some industries have experienced a huge growth uh, and, and will continue in the next few years. You know, healthcare, uh, solar technology, and uh, translating for our soon to be Chinese overlords. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Ni hao. <laughs> Hey, you bow, you jerk. Yeah, bow! <laughs> if you can't bow, there's no future for you in late night. Damn. But get bowing. I'm trying to bow, no. but I can't. Yeah, you better figure out some kind of bow-type substitute. Mm. I don't know if that's gonna fly, man. You could try that. Mm. No, 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 don't just do that and then say ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> No, nope, that's not going to work either. I don't know. Now you're oh, screwed. man, what the fuck? You can't say that. You can't say that. Well, you said it. Why the hell no, can't I no, say it? No, no, no. You used it in the sense of trying to replace some kind of cuss word. I never did it in that regard. <laughs> Just do the commercials thing. Okay. Tonight's program is brought to you by the new horror film classic, Incontinent Core. <laughs> I, I, meant to say, I meant to say incontinent, lonely prostitute. <laughs> Let me just continue, sorry. No, that was terrible. <laughs> incontinent, lonely prostitute. <laughs> He's got loose morals and an even looser bladder. <laughs> Labor Day show. <laughs> every time you just can't do it, can you? Yeah, every time. He's, every time. You're drunk. I, I hate the fact that you showed up to work drunk. I hate it, and yet I like it. No. No, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> Where did you go? For the, were you at the CBS barbecue today? Were you at that for the big Yeah, home? it was at the CBS barbecue. <laughs> up on the roof with your yeah, sunbathing yeah, yeah, genitals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you watching me uh, sunbathing in the nude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, do uh, you want to do the tweets and emails tonight? Uh, sure or do, uh, do. Or do, or do. I'm good, I'm good. Come on, what? I got it, I got it. <laughs> well, say the thing then. I got this, man. <laughs> Hey. Tonight's tweet mail is brought to you by the hit crime series GP and the Fergs. One is a creepy schizophrenic jive talking sucker, and the other is a robot. I'll fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope troubleshooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more business than my my guarantee. And emails. And the emails. All right, this is from uh, Aaron in Calgary, Alberta, which is Canada. You ever been to Calgary, Jeff? Oh, they got a place there. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love you, man. I love you. Is that the beer talking or did you really mean it? <laughs> oh, man, it's like my childhood. All right. Aaron says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, we have two beautiful children, and people keep telling us to have more kids. What should we do? Well, I, I'd have more. <laughs> Jeff? I think it's a great idea. That's who you should take relationship advice from. A drunk robot. 
You know, speaking of, I adopted a kitty this weekend. <laughs> you adopted a kitty? I, did, I have two kitties now. One of them's named Cat Damon. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And yeah, the yeah. other's called Diabetes. <laughs> You have a cat named Diabetes? Yeah, and they call it like Wilford Brimley. They go, Diabetes! <laughs> diabetes! <laughs> Here, Diabetes! <laughs> Sorry, pal. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> hey, this is from Martin in El Paso in Texas. Oh, uh, El Paso! Oh. Down in that West Texas <laughs> town of El Paso, <laughs> I fell in love with a Mexican girl. <laughs> A Mexican dog? What'd you say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His name was Diabetes. Dear Diabetes. Dear, uh, dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat. <laughs> Down in that West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican dog. <laughs> <clears throat> Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretary, um, I really like this one girl, but she seems to like my roommate more. What should I do? Isn't this a... That's on the CW. <laughs> You'd probably send an email to someone that gives a rat's ass. That'd be your first step. <laughs> this is from Mike in Washington, D.C. You ever been to Washington, D.C.? Oh, I got a place there. I like yeah. to get naked and yeah. throw bees. Did you see that horse? That was crazy. <laughs> I, I, never, I never saw a horse. What are you talking about? Shh, shh, shh. It was a horse in here, man. No! A horse? I swear to God, man. And, and, and all those people jumped up and started dancing. I think you need a cup of coffee, mister. Dear diabetes. <laughs> all right, this is from Mike in Washington, D.C. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, is it me or did your studio get brighter? Uh, it's you. <laughs> This is from Daniel in Mackenzie in Tennessee. You ever been to Mackenzie, Tennessee? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I need ten thousand dollars for college. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. This is from Mike in Kansas City in uh, Missouri. Uh, yeah, Missouri, Missouri. I never know what it is. Uh, I look forward to your corrections. Uh, Mike uh, says. Uh, oh, by the way, Mike's uh, an owl. Um, <laughs> Says, hi, Craig, if you suspect someone of cheating at cards, what do you do? Well, I stand up and ask them to get off the riverboat. <laughs> Please, sir, leave the riverboat, I said. I said, leave the riverboat right now. Jeff, what do you say when you find a gentleman cheating at cards? I say, if you're playing cards and you cheat, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so I got diabetes. All right. <laughs> This is from Patricia in Henderson, Nevada. I don't know if you can tell from this, but Patricia's a hummingbird. Uh, Ooh. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Oh, wait, there she goes. There she goes. No, no, there she no, goes. There no, she no, goes. no, no. What? There's no hummingbirds in the studio. I said a hummingbird. Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, my husband gave me anti-wrinkle cream. Should I be grateful or offended? Jeff, this is more your arena, isn't it? It depends on where the wrinkles are. <laughs> well, you get wrinkles in other places other than your face? Yeah, in your pants. <laughs> I still got it, I still got it. I would say it's actually improved. <laughs> like, uh, listen, you know that uh, email that I, I, you know, I didn't read the other day and I put it on here and then I said I'd get to read it at some point and then I've been teasing the audience with it. Oh, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. <laughs> you know that one? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm not, I'm not going to read that. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. My 
first guest tonight is the host of two CBS shows. One is called The Talk. Yes, and it's uh, season two premieres tomorrow, and Big Brother airs Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday evenings. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of being on TV. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> now the drunk robot skeleton doesn't seem so weird, does it? <laughs> Please welcome Julie Chan, everybody. Julie. Chan. Sensational. Look at Thank you. You got it all going on. Thank I you. like it. There's a, a bit of a boom going on tonight. If you don't I'm mind like, me. this is the first time I'm uh, wearing this dress, and I'm realizing sitting in it is a little bit. Don't oh, you a... do that when you're trying them on? You think, no, oh, oh. You, but now I will. Yeah, you got it. You know, just look in the mirror and go, good, you know? But now I'm going to try and sit down. That's what I do whenever I buy pants. <laughs> I say to them, can I run around them in, in a week? And if, I, if they work for about a week's worth of me, I'll bring them back. And then I take them back, soiled. And they let you because you're Craig Ferguson. No, they're like, who are you, man? <laughs> How are you? How, the Big Brother show looks particularly bonkers this year. It's, it's crazy. You know, we're in our 13th season. That's No, that's a long time it on television. It really is. What was that, 13 years then? Uh, 12. We had two in one year because of the writer's strike a few years ago. I don't recall it. We suddenly had to put on a winter edition. So, because we're on three nights a week. So right. it really helped out, you know. CBS is okay. We're good. I have no. I have no opinion on this. So the uh, <laughs> on Labor Day yet? That, that, you are smart. Yeah. So um, 13, 12 years of the same show, but thirteen seasons. That's unlucky. Then you'll have to. Were well, you going to stop? Um, well, judging by the ratings this summer. Yeah. I think we'll be back next summer. Oh, with the big ratings. And then that's how we determine. Is that important? Because I, I look at the ratings for this show and I'm like, eh. <laughs> Is it important that people watch? Because I, I figured it wasn't really that important. You know you're on for a reason. Uh, I, you know. Yeah, it's because, you know, it's me or cartoons. <laughs> no. And cartoons cost money. You are very cheeky this evening. Am I? Yeah, I think maybe you and Jeff were at the barbecue together. No, 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 no. I, you let know. Me, let, me, you know let me no, 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 listen. No, I, oh, that's true. That's you true. If I was drinking, you'd that's know. True. It yeah. wouldn't be just, it wouldn't be just, ah, uh, 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 no, I'd be like, ah! Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. I forgot. Right. You have. Do you like to get liquored up uh, on, uh, <laughs> on uh, Labor Day? I, are you, are you uh, kind of buzzed right now? As no, I'm no. I, you know, like you, I had to work today. I had to be at Big Brother earlier. And so I missed going to a barbecue, which, you know, I would have liked to have a glass of wine or two. Is that, is that what but, you drink, wine? Uh, yeah. Uh, drugs? Any drugs? Uh, <laughs> no, definitely not. No, actually, better than wine lately, because I've been trying to watch the caloric intake. Mm -hmm. If I am going to drink, I'll just have a vodka, because they say that is the way to go. Oh, that's the way to go, all right. <laughs> that's the way to go to rehab, right there. <laughs> Yeah, do, you ever, do you watch Russian Dolls? You ever seen Russian Dolls? That's a reality show on another network. I yeah, I never saw the show. They drink vodka. But I I think I saw I saw something on another network. A Nightline might maybe do a right. profile of it, and it was it was eye opening. Well, you know what the weird thing is when I was watching it, it just at the start of it, and then we'll talk about CBS shows. But at the start of it, they, uh, <laughs> they say, they've got this like teaser reel, and one of the Russian women says, "Russian people are known for having good time," and I'm like. No, they're not. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are we talking about? Ivan the Terrible, the Gulag <laughs> system, Stalin. When was the good time? Maybe she's talking about just the women. Oh, okay, that's maybe, possible. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. right? Yeah, no, that's... Have you ever been to Russia? No, not yet. It's have awesome. you been? Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, was when I was a spy. <laughs> uh, no, I, I've been... Was it fun? It's an amazing place. So you had a good time? I... I you know I did. See? I feel like such a fool. There you go. See, that's what makes you the interviewer. I'm just, I'm just the, the pedestrian. You can do this. You pull the information out of people that they don't know they have. Well, you've been on the show. I've been, on, I've been on the talk, yeah. Yeah, you've been on the talk twice. And isn't it funny, like, when you come on the talk show and suddenly our, our roles are switched, I it's know. odd. It's a little Because you're weird. used to being, you know, in the driver's seat. It's kind of like we, you know, like you dress up as a man and I dress up as a lady. <laughs> 
No, but speak, oh, come on, that would be good too. Speaking of dressing, yes, I. In honor of Labor Day, I yeah. had to squeeze in one last wear of, of my white watch. Oh, you have a white watch? I, well, actually, it's the same black watch the rest of the year, but I got a second band to put on it. I don't think you're going to win any friends by seeing how rich you are. <laughs> two, watch <laughs> yeah, two watch bands? Yeah, two watch bands. Well, nice to meet you, Hollywood. <laughs> But now, after two, yeah, no, I have, have to, to go back. Even black. though it doesn't go with this outfit? No, black would go with that. You get a black dress and then... And the, and the, no, I know. The, the, the black. black would go, but even though the white wash doesn't go with the outfit, I didn't care. I thought, you know what? Oh. It's my last... Because I, I kind of go by that. Those Do you rules. really follow that rule? Well, growing up in the East Coast, you had to. But, yeah. you know, I find in Southern California, after today, you're going to see people in white jeans, and I might be one of them. Yeah. You know? And I, I possibly <laughs> won't be, though. <laughs> You won't be. In well, white jeans? Men, Does anybody want to see that? Nothing against you. Men in white jeans is a little bit of a problem. That's a little... Well, no. It's not a problem. It's a piece of information. <laughs> That's all it is. There's no judgment attached to it. It's not... I'm not, I'm not saying anything okay. about it. It's just, hey, this is who I am. That's all, That's all it is. You... I don't know what... What is in your mug? What is in your mug tonight? Just sparkling You're water, a bit of zhuzh. I know what it is. Mm. It's the fact that it's a holiday. You kind of feel like, all right, everyone else is at home. They're on vacation. Mm. You know, they're not working today. The fact that you have to be in today, you feel like the bosses are not watching. And you no, feel no, like come you on, baby. You know the boss is not watching me. You know. No, that. I know. No, you know better than I... anybody the boss is not watching me. You guys are like. No. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, you got a little we baby. You're like, baby's asleep. Let's go. No, and I'll, I'll tell you why it's so easy for us to watch you. Why? Because we have direct TV. We can watch you three hours earlier. So we will ask dinner. Is this dinner. legal for you to say that? I think so. Oh, okay. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. And if, not, if it's not, honey, if not, I'm sorry. If, I'm getting that pulled. No, if, no. if it's not legal, no, then it never happened. No, because he runs a network. Because he runs a network, he has to. Right, okay. So we get to watch you at 9.30. Oh, you, you wouldn't want that. That late night at prime time, that doesn't have a good history as far as I can see. <laughs> didn't they? they try that somewhere else? Went a little crazy for a while. I don't no, know. So we watch you all the time. That's... What, you're gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. The, uh, <laughs> tell me about the, uh, the new season of The Talk. What's going on? What are you going to do? Any outdoor activities? Uh, not outdoor yet, but, you know, we're open to You ideas. should go on the road. Take a show on the road. Actually, we might, you know, for maybe, like, uh, sweeps. Maybe November. Paris. Go to like Paris. That. We went to Paris. It was great. I know, but that cost so much money. Oh, not for us, it didn't. <laughs> well, then... Then I'll have to talk about how you guys did it, because no, I would love well, to Well, yeah, it's that. very simple. What you do is you get a coach flight, you go to Paris, you meet a guy with a camera, and you say, I'll give you 50 bucks if I can take this, you know, the videotape once we're done. That's it. Then we bring it back and show it to everyone in America. I will pitch it and see how, how it goes. It works out, all right? I would, I would love that idea. Yeah, no, it's good. But we're very excited. Tomorrow is day one of season two. Mm -hmm. You know, we were on hiatus for a month, and I feel like it's the first day of school. You know, I have, like, my new outfit, minus the white watch all like yeah, pressed yeah, and ready. I have like butterflies in my stomach. And we just announced that um, joining us at the desk will be Molly Shannon from I love Molly Saturday. Shannon. I know. I, I know Night Molly Live. Shannon personally. I, I like her very... I didn't know she was doing this. Yeah, oh. we just announced it on Friday. Well, congratulations. What a, a, an excellent choice. She's a star. I love she her. She is. She, I mean, who knows live television better than her, right? Me. Uh, <laughs> no, we got that... that buzzer from when you oh, say... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the true. Right? The Tootsie Fruitsies and the <laughs> fa. Fa. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. No, you're right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah so, so you got, Molly yeah. Is, is joining us, and also Cheryl Underwood, who I don't know if you've ever had her on her on your show, but she's a very funny comedian and um, has a really interesting story, which I'll let her tell on tomorrow's show okay. when you tune in, you get to know her. But um, this week, being that we're only on three days this week, Friday we're preempted because of um, tennis, U.S. Open. Mm. So Thursday's show, I think, is going to be a really powerful hour of live TV where we dedicate the whole program to the 10-year anniversary of 9-11. That's going to be tough. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's very tough. Um, 
a bunch of us were in New York when it happened. I yeah. I was working in news then. I was on the air when it happened, and it was you know it's a life changing event. I know. I've been York. thinking about it. It's been on my mind a bit as well because it's coming up in ten years, and we always try and market some one way or another on the show. It's very difficult. It, it really Especially is. when you get the dancing horse and the robot and stuff, and you think, oh man, how am I going to make this? You know. So but you're probably not working. Uh, but it's on a Sunday. 9/11 is on, on a Sunday. Sunday. It's on a Sunday this so, year. Yeah. Know, so I don't I don't know. You may not have to you know worry about yeah, it, well, addressing it, but probably you know. I'll probably Some do something, but not, you know, I'm not on on Sunday, so there you are. I'll watch it along with everyone else. It's good to see you again, Julie. It's always, I'm, and good luck with the 13th season of Big Brother. That's, uh, well, must be worrying to, to go into the 13th. That's the one that, you know, separates them. Well, you know what? I've been calling it Lucky 13. I've been yeah. calling it Lucky 13, and so far it's been, it's been great. We're down to five people in the house, and on September 14th. Well, Tori Spelling turned up. She was I, know, I know, I yeah. know. She looks great, so. Yeah. <laughs> awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball. Um, awkward pause. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, wait, I, I must tell you, before we go into the awkward pause, okay. I have been adding a subtext to it that I try to sneak a look at a uh, body part. Now... Oh, uh, now no, you wait, tell me. No, 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 wait. Given the fact that you're married to my boss, I, I'll probably leave that out. So it's just... All right, give me the choices again. Uh, no, you don't have any choices. It's just a straight awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it by accident! You, oh, oh no! I was Don't be tired, everybody! a fantastic poker player. Uh, uh, she is the commissioner of the Epic Poker League. Uh, the tournaments will air right here on CBS. Please welcome Annie Duke, everybody. Annie Duke. I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Am I telling the truth or not? You could probably tell. I could. Are you, do I you think you're a bit of a mind reader from the poker? Does that? Uh, it's not really mind reading. It's not magical or anything, although I should pretend it is. It's more just knowing what people's patterns are, how people lie, how people act when they're lying. Do, do, how do people act when they're lying? <laughs> <laughs> the robot? They act like the robot? Drunk? Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't he look untrustworthy? Oh, yeah. I have to do this. But look, he yes. was reading your book. I saw that, which he might was... be a better thing for you to do in Vegas next time you go. Yes. And we did go to Vegas and we yes. didn't play poker. Are you, you're doing some stuff there right now, aren't you? I, yes. Actually, we have started a professional poker league where the best play the best. I thought poker became illegal or something, didn't it? Only or... online. Only what? online. You can still play in person. And uh, at Epic Poker, we have this objective way to measure who's the best players. And our last tournament, the winner won a million dollars. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't you ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you ooh, it's not the price is right. <laughs> Although I must admit, inside I, a little bit, I went ooh. Like, yeah, 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 it's a lot of money. No, I ooed, I internalized my ooh though. I, yeah. No, this is a, there's a lot of writing here about deciding Th to play is. great poker. It's I mean, thick. Couldn't, it, couldn't you just say, I've decided to play great poker. Well, you can, but then you have to read the book to figure out how you actually do that. Or you could use it as a weapon, because it's pretty... It's, it's thick. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Is there violence in poker now? Maybe that's why... <laughs> no, just... It's, it, no, but it's... it's it is it very you. complicated? I've never... I mean, I, I kind of like playing cards, but I don't have patience to learn. You know, I mean, I'm like, oh, this, I, this is like driving. Yeah, well, you yeah. know, I, I get that, but actually... You know, decisions in poker, it's really, this is really a decision-making manual that you can use for other things in life, too. Because the kinds of decisions you make at the table yeah. really actually apply out really well. Because it's a lot of, like, figuring out how to deal with the different ways that people might be acting toward you. Like, you know, like when you have hecklers or something like that, you deal with them differently than when you have a really good audience or... Oh, I wouldn't, the robots I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But we, 
Do, when I ever see a poker, there's always like fat guys with little beards and sunglasses on, and, and they're all kind of like mm, like that. Do they? Are you allowed to do that with a little sunglasses? Well, you can you can definitely wear sunglasses. I but think that's actually, cheating. Well, at Epic Poker, we have a rule because a lot of times you see people they'll wear where they wear the hoodie like yeah. all the way around, like they look like a Unabomber or something. Like right, that. right. It's, yeah. So so at Epic, actually, you're not allowed to do that. You have to show your face. Right. So I do. Professional. Can you wear can you wear uh, shades? You can wear sunglasses, but the rest of your face has to be showing. And so most of what you get is actually not you get some stuff from the eyes but you get a lot of stuff from the lips so like if you're talking to someone and they're licking their lips they're pursing their li anything like that they're probably lying to you <laughs> yeah well, they're lying to you they're coming on to you. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it that way uh, 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 you're thing, lying to me about something the other interesting thing is because I know you were in Paris recently yes that, yes that when people are telling the truth or they're excited about something, their their uh, bodies will lift up, and particularly if they're French, this is actually true. Their nose, will, they'll they'll sort of go like this, and their nose will go in the oh, air. Oh, their noses are pretty high. In the That's air, what I'm anyway. saying. So. <laughs> but particularly if a French. <laughs> it's very nice to see you. Exactly. I love America. I'm sorry. That's 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 right. Right. I think uh, use this to muffin. Uh, <laughs> So are you up in Vegas all the time then? I, I'm only there a little bit. I actually live in LA oh, with my right. family and my, you know, four lovely children. But I'm in Vegas when I'm, when we're doing the tournament. Do your children play play poker? They do not. Actually, you know, I tell people they're like, well, how come you don't play poker with your kids? And I'm like, well, what do you do for a living? They'll be like, I'm a lawyer. I'm like, do you play trial with your children? Because uh, <laughs> it's a job. With my me. kids, I have the two boys coming out. I'm like, so how was school today? Huh? <laughs> I, I hear you did a project. Is that right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So we know, we play, when we play games, my kids always want to play apples to apples. Apples to apples? Yeah, it's an awesome game. Sounds a bit up. sexy. No, it's like, you, you put a word down, like, you know, rambunctious or something, and you have five cards, and you have to put down, like, Jeff. And then someone chooses who the best, what the best thing of the category is. But they like games like that. We don't actually play poker. No, you're probably better. I, I, I could win their allowance money from them, though. It might be a good idea. I no, start. no, no. You don't, you don't want your kids to feel depressed about not getting an allowance. Um, well, they'd get it. I'd just win it back from them. Well, that's... That's why I don't do it, though. Oh, Yo, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Time, Annie. Uh, would you like an uh, awkward pause, uh, which I think might be useful for you? Awkward okay. pause, mouth organ, or touch my glittery ball? T touch what? Don't even bother with that last the, one. I want yeah. the mouth organ. Mouth organ? I want the mouth organ. So surprise me. I would do. You? You, yeah, it's okay. Well, you can have the mouth organ. Okay. Um, there's two mouth organs here. Oh, because. I'm terrible. I don't know how to do it. That's why I want to do it. Oh, you know how to do it, just. <laughs> You'll be just fine. Okay. okay, there's okay. the mouth organ. You take the organ out okay. and uh, get started. Are you gonna, you're gonna, sh all right. Yeah, I'll which, join. Which end do you blow into, this one? Oh. I don't know, I've never seen one before. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, why wouldn't you join us? P and I were fooling around tonight, but kids, don't uh, get drunk and try and be a co-host on a talk show, right, GP? That's right, pal. Very bad idea. Good night, everybody. Good night.